Good morning, everyone. And <laughs> good morning, sunshine. Hi. Hi, guys. It's a beautiful day here in Chiang Rai, and we have finally achieved what we've been trying to accomplish this entire time in Thailand. Yeah, we finally made it to the top of the mountain and actually get to see an actual freaking sunrise. Because you know, every time we go, <laughs> it's cloudy something happens we get directions that are in the wrong viewpoint mm -hmm. we finally made it and it's beautiful so let's go ahead and start this video out with the bang and hope you guys enjoy we're currently standing at the very top of the Pachifa mountain top not to be confused with Monifa the rapper. Sorry. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And getting up here was quite the trek. So if you're looking to come up here, be sure to leave if you're staying in the city center two and a half hours before the sunrise because that's about the amount of time that it takes. I'm so tired, guys. We went to bed at like 11. I woke up at 2, couldn't fall to sleep. Then tried to go back to sleep. Woke up at 3.45 for us to make our way here. I'm tired. I'm real tired. She's real tired. Not even a cup of coffee can wake her up. This is by far the most beautiful viewpoint I've been to. And Thailand is known for their viewpoints. But Puchifa has hands down the best sunrise viewpoint. Like every bit of me wants to go climb these mountains. Like we need to go on a hike. Like a genuine hike. Uh, it's beautiful, it's breathtaking. You have 360 views and it's nothing but huge, green, beautiful mountains. And then, I mean, it's breathtaking. Also guys, a little fun fact to start off your day. That over there is Laos. And if we turn the camera around, sorry for the quickness. Thailand, over here. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm fangirling over Mother Nature. Is fangirling over Mother Nature a thing? Oh yeah, that's Mother Nature's the original objectification. Whatever, <laughs> yes, fangirl over Mother Nature. She deserves it. It's like you really can't capture every nook and cranny of no. this viewpoint and everything that's surrounding it on camera because it looks flat, but when you're here, you just get an overwhelming feel of it all. And I can't even imagine what the sunset will be like on the other side of this mountain. Thailand, I, <laughs> I, I love this country so freaking much, but no, there's no but. Like, it, you guys continue to continue to continue to continue to surprise me in the best way possible. This is, guys, as many times as we've been up at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. to go <laughs> see a sunrise, and it's, it's failed every time. Every like, single every time. Every single time. And our entire time in Thailand, this is what it was for. Like, this is the moment we've been waiting for. And you know what? It exceeded every expectation, every sunrise we could have seen anywhere. Anywhere. I agree. And this, as an experience, has been hashtag epic. Okay. We're doing, we're, we're hashtagging again, guys. We've been here for a good two hours now and our stomachs are telling us it's time to go. We're gonna go ahead and go grab some lunch and... Ex oh, <laughs> breakfast! Sorry, see like that just shows that we are sleep deprived and now at a point of starvation. Lunch is always on his mind. <laughs> it is eight o'clock. I mean, yeah. never too early. I just had to pee, so I just pee in public. <laughs> Sorry. Don't tell anyone, please. I'm literally, I've seen guys just line up. Never mind, that sounds weird. There are temples everywhere, and let me tell you, every single temple, whether it's in the countryside or whether it's in the city, is freaking beautiful. Like, 
all tables are beautiful, but there's something about the ones in Chiang Rai that are just like extraordinary. They stand out from the rest. And yeah. You guys will see what we're talking about. Also, the name of it is called Wat Ming Muang. It's super easy to find. We'll leave a link below, but you have to see it. If you're in downtown Chiang Rai, visit. Okay, since we've been to Pechaban and we saw the Buddha with his fingers up, now we're seeing them everywhere. When you think of Chiang Rai, you think of the White Temple and the Blue Temple. And it does attract a lot of tourists to those temples. There are other lesser known temples just like this one. It's still as gorgeous as those and it brings a different unique element to it. It's beautiful. Like, again, you see temples everywhere, but this is in the middle of the city and it's just, it's so ornate, more ornate than any we've seen inside the, like a city center. So I had to stop. I had to. Beautiful. Wow. Once upon a time, there was a player in every corner doing tricks for a dime. It is a hot one right now. It's around 2 o'clock, so we figured we escape the sun and come over to a very well known cave. Yes, we're at um, Khao Nam Nang Nan Forest Park. If you've heard of it, you know the story. If you have not, stay tuned. You will hear all about it. There's a movie about it, to be quite honest with you. So uh, let's go see. Oh, as time went by so slowly, if only he could show me silver and gold. Oh, he didn't need no reason more than the oh so pleasing bright shining silver. So unfortunately, the length of the cave is only 200 meters long. We reached the end of it. And just to give you a little perspective, we are here, so that's 200 meters. Those kids were all the way, as Will said earlier, 2,000 meters in. So that's an extra 1,800 meters. And it was all flooded. There was a huge storm happening at that time. So they had to bring in special scuba divers to go through some of the parts of the cave system to rescue them. But that's terrifying. Like, it felt like we walked way more than 200 meters, right babe? Yes. So I can only imagine how they felt being trapped another 1,800 meters in. I'm six foot tall. Guys, I would have been underwater. Look. That's how high the water got. 90 meters. 90 meters. It's insane. Lo and behold, you had your eyes on all the bright shining silver. One thing to know is that the National Park offers a shuttle service that takes you from your parking lot to the cave and it's only 30 baht, which also includes your admissions. My thigh is thicker than a lane. <laughs> This place is super cute. Um, it's not the most well kept, but there's there's nobody here besides people that work here. Um, anyway, it's it's still worth the visit. It's called Debua Chiang Mai Victoria Lotus Garden. Mm -hmm. um, it's like 20 minutes outside the city center. It's super cute, picturesque, Instagram moments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's a beautiful space. It also houses a cafe and a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for an afternoon pick me up, this is a good place to stop by and like will said if you're looking for that instagram moment you could just easily hop on the lily pad get your photo taken and be on with your day and continue your temple hopping 100 baht by the way to do that or you can rent a little boat that can oh go gosh. through it's super cute it's we're okay. gonna rent it but nah bro we got things to do <laughs> 
Oh, this is cool. <laughs> so cool. You guys, I am floating on a lily pad. I literally want to go like push it out into the middle of nowhere. This is awesome. I'm standing on a lily pad on the middle of this lake and it's awesome. And you get to enjoy a cup of coffee or a plate of Krapau Gai while overlooking this beautiful lake filled with lily pads. And this could be you if the price is right. He's so scared. That was awesome, you guys. I mean, I was telling well, it's a very cheeky. Is cheeky the right word you said? Kitchy. Kitchy. It's a very kitschy thing here to do, but it's really nice, um, especially if you're looking for some downtime and just relaxation after a long day of tempo hopping. So I would strongly recommend it. Plus, where else are you going to sit on a freaking lily pad? Yeah. These are massive. Guys, it's really cute. You have to just come out here. They're all, they're just the kindest, cutest people. And again, like, look. You either think we're the lamest YouTubers out there, solely because- Shame on you. <laughs> solely because we are so psyched for this space. I mean, there's no like music playing or like big rides or temples behind us. Guys, it's they're like a very like, not well maintained free space with huge lily pads some dead some alive but like i don't know why but we always gravitate and have the most fun when we're doing these type of things yeah maybe we're just the most basic human beings in the world and you know what that's fine and all of me if i know how to swim will go out there jump from lily pad to another but no, he wouldn't. No, he that wouldn't. wouldn't happen. No, he wouldn't. That would he's totally lying. happen. He's not lying. He, he's, he's lying. <laughs> Don't be him. He's lying. We just got here. Guys, we have no idea where we're going, but we're going to hop on here. And Hello Kitty, we trust. She is even more impressive in person. Okay, so Jose decides to tell me after we get all the way up here that we can actually take an elevator all the way up to her eyes. Uh, by her, I mean Kwa'em, the goddess of mercy, behind me. Oh, that's the lotus flower, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, but both of us decided to wear our Hooters short shorts today, so we're not going in, not going out. Thanks, Jose. It's 40 baht per person, by the way. And we forgot our sera serapes. I literally serapes. just told him that. Oh, and, Freeze, you can actually climb up this nine-tier pagoda at the very top as well to get an aerial view, bird's eye view of Chiang Rai. Mm, I'm done. No, I'm good. Besides the beautiful goddess temple here, there are two other temples right besides her. So there's plenty to see here. They're all ornate, very beautiful. And I think the best time to come see this, these temple grounds are in the evening time or right when the sun's rising up. Also. Oh, she's blending in, camouflaging. Mm, it's like a green screen. Guys, look at this. Does this not make you want to like go roll down the hill like a Teletubby? I guess that'd be Tinky Winky. I'd be Dipsy. Nah, you'd be Lala. Nobody knows nah, Lala. I'd be Poe, nah. the iconic one. Tiki Winky's a. You guys, these dragons are. What's the best word, babe? Besides beautiful, massive? Grand? Grand. Like, here, let me go stand beside it. Like. Also, it's such a dad shot. Jose, come take this for me. What? They're massive. I had Jose record it because I was doing like a dad, like... But they're massive. They're beautiful. But there's a smile upon your face And I see something shimmering in your eyes And they say if you want a glimpse the future you need and you said you put down your morning guns Would you follow me to wonders Take my hand and walk beside 
Justin's Will took the bullet on the last temple by taking his shoes off. I'm now taking the bullet this time to show you guys this beautiful white temple that's next to the goddess here on the temple ground. Wow. Fear is when you look at me this way, I find it hard to know. I just want to take the time right now to say thank you to all the Thai people here in Thailand for being accepting and understanding of all of us foreigners who aren't very familiar or practice the religion of Buddhism. Will and I feel like every single time we've been to a temple, we have always been accepted. We have always been welcome and given the space to document all the temples without feeling the, having to feel the feeling of, you know, you shouldn't be here. So thank you for all of that. And we will continue to show your temples all of their beauty because it needs to be seen by the world. I find it hard to not